So Badlands National Park is kind of a unique landscape. People come out here into western South Dakota, they see an ocean of grass, and all of a sudden there's this dramatic topography change. So they get out into this park and kind of experience an alien world. The Badlands geology kind of skips around in time a little bit. Our, our lowest layers that are exposed in the, the western side of the park in the wilderness area this is part of an ancient seafloor. So that tells us we were below sea level. Well eventually what's going to happen after, at, at when the dinosaurs are going to die out and after there's a lot of mountain building events and this all raises the Midwest above sea level. Well that seaway will drain away and leave a nice lowland basin for other sediment to fill in later. So that kind of sets the stage for the Badlands. So there's quite a few things people can do out here. Um, lots of exploring. Uh, they can hike pretty much anywhere they want. Uh, we're an open hike park. We try to provide an accessible experience for everybody. And with what I think are the, some of the most impressive views in the area, we have uh, areas set up that are wheelchair accessible. Door Trail has a boardwalk, Fossil Exhibit Trail, our outdoor kind of natural history trail. A lot of the uh, signage there has the text, but it also has a Braille companion text with tangible replicas of fossils. Uh, people can touch and feel and get a sense of size and shape and texture. People can go camping out here. They can take residence in one of our regular campgrounds. People can go backcountry camping. As long as they can get out a half mile from any road or trail and aren't visible, uh, they can camp anywhere they want. There's the large charismatic wildlife. There's bison, there's bighorn sheep, prairie dog towns that are pretty massive. You can find predators, uh, coyotes, bobcat, badger. Wildlife here is, is kind of used to vehicles, traffic, and people, but they are still wild animals. The visitor center uh, has a lot going on. Uh, there are exhibits kind of going over the natural history and the cultural history of the area. We are the ancestral home of the Lakota, which still live here. They're our neighbors, they're our partners. Uh, we have evidence of of Native American inhabitants going back well, about 11, 12,000 years when people were hunting mammoth. We have a gift shop where they, people can get their mementos or buy books. We have in the summer a working paleontology lab. So uh, we have a preparation lab for fossils and our paleontologists are cleaning up these fossils so they can be used for research study and we often display some of the more interesting ones in this room. Anyone is allowed to come into this room and see paleontology in action. We're not considered a destination park, we're kind of considered a drive-by park. We're all, people are on their way to or from sites like Mount Rushmore or Yellowstone, but I think word has gotten out of, of how unique and incredible we are and when people get here, they, they sometimes want to stay here.